Hello, welcome to Help Your Math. In this video, we're going to work on this problem. Uh, for the equation 4x plus 2y equals to 8, we're going to find the x and y intercept. We're going to graph the line. We're going to find a parallel line uh, that lands on the point 4, 8, and a perpendicular line that lands on the same point. So let's start with the x and y intercepts. So uh, I'll just rewrite it here. Eight. Uh, if you recall, an x, the x-intercept is when our y is equal to zero, and the y-intercept will be when our x is equal to zero. So we're looking for two points. One will be zero, comma, and a number, and the other one will be a number, comma, zero. So let's start with our x. If y is equal to zero, we can set it to zero and see what our x will give us. So 4x plus 2 times zero is equal to 8. Now 2 times 0 equals to 0, so we're left with 4x plus 0 is equal to 8, or 4x equals 8. We can divide both sides by 4, and these will cancel out on this side because 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1, and 8 divided by 4 is 2, so x equals to 2. So when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 2. So that's our x-intercept, which would be right here, 2 comma 0. We can do the same now and solve for y, for our y-intercept. Uh, I'll do it right here, right next to it. 4x plus 2y equals 8. If x is equal to 0, what does y equal? So 4 times 0 plus 2y is equal to 8. 4 times 0 is equal to 0. We're left with 2y plus, uh, two, sorry, 2y two equals to 8. Because 0 plus 2y is going to be 2y. So divide by 2 and divide by 2. These are going to cancel out again because 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. And 1 times y is just y. So y is equal to 8 divided by 2. And 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. So we've got 0, comma 4. So these are our, this is our y-intercept, and this is our x-intercept. So let's graph the line. We have two points already. All you need are two points to graph a line. So if we go to our x, y uh, coordinate plane, we can just plug in our two uh, points. 0, comma 4 would be 0 on the x-axis and then up 4 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 0, 4. And 2, comma 0, which is our x-intercept, would be 0 on the y-axis. Or, well, 2 on the x-axis, 1, 2, and 0 on the y-axis, so right here. And then the line would be the point, would just be connecting the two points in a straight line. And it goes on forever on both sides. And this is 2 comma 0. So this would be the line for 4x plus 2y is equal to 8. Let's work now on finding a parallel, a parallel line that passes through 4 dash 8, 4 comma 8. And, and then afterward, we'll work on the perpendicular. So for a parallel line, we know that the slope has to be the same um, as the other line. So let's figure out our, our slope for this line. You could, you could either do, there's two ways to do it. You can either put this in slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, or we could just use the slope formula which is m equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have two points here, so I'm just going to use the slope formula. So I'll set this as our 2, so y2 and x2, and y1 and x1. And I could have picked either one, it doesn't matter, so long as you keep true to which one you declare as 1 and which one you declare as 2, or whatever, or 1 and 2. All right, so let's plug in our numbers. 
So m is equal to y2, which is 0, minus y1, which is 4, over x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is 0. So m is equal to 0 minus 4 is just going to give you negative 4. And 2 minus 0 is just going to give you 2. But we're not done yet because we can simplify this. Negative 4 over 2 is the same as negative 2. So the slope of this line is negative 2. With that, we can find a line that's parallel with the same, uh, that's parallel with this, that f passes through this point. And by do to do that, we're going to actually use our slope intercept form equation. Y equals mx plus b. We have m, which is negative 2. And we have x and we have y, which is right here, 4 and 8. We just need to find b. So let's plug in and get to work. y is 8, which equals to m, which is negative 2, times x, which is 4, plus b, which is what we're going to solve for. So now we have negative 2 times 4, which is negative 8, plus b, equal to 8. We're going to add 8 to both sides to take it out of this side and bring it over to this side. So these two cancel out. Negative 8 plus 8 is going to equal to 0. And 8 plus 8 is going to give us 16. So b equals to 16. But that is not the equation of the line. It, it's asking, if we're asking for the equation of the line, it'd be in this form. So y is equal to negative 2 x plus 16. Next, we're going to look for the, we're going to solve for the perpendicular line. And the perpendicular line is similar. I should have left this. So m equals negative 2 is similar in which we just have to plug and play, but the slope is going to be the negative reciprocal of our original slope. So the negative reciprocal would mean we flip it and we change the sign. So for perpendicular, it'd be positive 1 over 2, because this is the same as 2 over 1. And now we, again, we have point, we have a slope, we can plug it into our y equals mx plus b, and we can solve for the equation of the line. Or we can solve for b, and then we can put that into the equation of the line. So y equals mx plus b again. y is 8, which is equal to positive 1 half. x is 4 plus b. 1 half times 4 is 4 over 2. 4 over 2 is 2. But, uh, so, right, 4 over 2. This is going to cancel out, and it's 2. So we're going to subtract 2 on both sides. 6. And b is equal to 6. So the equation of a line perpendicular to the 4x plus 2y equal to 8 would be y equal to positive 1 half x plus 6. Thank you.